Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Corner here. And right now, we are still here in Tokyo. Actually, it feels weird to say that because a few months ago, I was just watching this whole thing on YouTube and now we are finally here. As you can see in my background, here you go. We are here in Ginza and this is the largest Uniqlo in the world. This is such a beautiful place. So, if you guys are interested, stay tuned. Okay, we are going to enter now Uniqlo here in Ginza. By the way, guys, I made a mistake. I thought this is the largest Uniqlo in the world. Apparently, there are two Uniqlo close here in Ginza and this is not the largest but probably later we'll go check and try let's see if we can visit this the largest but Uniqlo. don't get me wrong guys this one is still huge I don't know how many floors this is but we'll try to see or we'll try to explore every floor and see what they have here. okay so here's the sample pricing on the items here this pants is 3,990 yen but since we are a tourist, we can still get a discount for this. So we just have to present your pass, our, our passport so that they can remove the tax. And then this one, it's a heat tech beanie for 1,500 yeah, not bad. One thing I noticed here is that they are starting to load on the winter clothes because winter is just around the corner. And you can see right around there as well, right? There are tons of winter stuff here right now. And this one is for 6,990 yen. Let's go upstairs and see what they have here. Oh, this one. I think this one is for sale for 4,990 yen. Oh, it looks good. But these are for women. To be honest with you, I have no idea if it's a steel deal for winter stuff. Because, of course, we, have, we don't have winter in our country. So I really can't tell you if these are good buys for 12,900 yen. We have to give props for whoever uh, put these things together because their color palette selection is just good. Now we're going to the third floor. By the way, guys, I'm trying my best to speak in my lowest voice because uh, I don't think that it's good to speak loudly here. It seems like the third floor is for men. So we're going to see what we can find for us. We found here for 1290 yen guys convert that to your money because i have no idea how to do it these are not t-shirts guys these are long sleeves areism so for like 600 to 500 pesos that's a steal already i'm starting to like the options here the different colors that they are providing look at this you have a massive selection of colors for this stuff Hey, for this day, I want to wear yellow. I got you. Or probably just light blue. Then we got you black. They have it as well. Then this one, they have it. And there's a huge selection of socks here. And then these are on these. Of course, they also have here the recycled section. So all of the materials here or all of the clothes here are recycled. So, you know, it's a good initiative. We are off to the fourth floor now and see what they have here. All right, I'm not sure if this floor or the fourth floor is mostly recycled. Okay, I don't know what's the initiative behind this, but East for All is a good cry, especially for what's happening right now in the world. Aside from the recycle section on the left part, you also see here, I think this is the custom part. So you you can design your own t-shirt here by picking any design that you want that they have here for presets of course they also have a design guideline here that you have to follow so there are un unauthorized contents and inappropriate immoral contents are not allowed and you can put your design on shirts or hoodies or probably tote bags so yeah that's a good part i think my mom and my sisters are the fifth floor which is the gu it's going to be my first time to see what gu have on the sister <laughs> by the way guys if you don't know what gu is it's still like uniqlo but on a cheaper price but it has its own branding i've been seeing a lot of youtubers talking about this gu and yeah they're not wrong about it you can get good deals on every item here i thought gu is all about shirts pants and all those things but i'm surprised that they also have shoes here so for example this one 2990 yen oh, that's pretty not bad not bad they have tons of shoes here if you just want clean white shoes 2490 yen not bad this looks good but <laughs> i won't be able to use this in our country i have no idea what this is but let's give it 
not gonna lie, uh, it feels like it's just the same Uniqlo that we have in the Philippines. But this one, of course, they have more selection. Again, this is not yet the largest Uniqlo in the world. You can still find the largest one here in Ginza. If you're a dog lover and you're here in Japan, specifically in Tokyo, it is going to be a must for you to visit Hachiko. But normally, the Hachiko that we know is the one in Shibuya, right? We found out that there's a hidden Hachiko who looks way better compared to the one in Shibuya. All you have to do is go here at Tokyo University and then you're going to see there the cool statue of Hachiko with Mr. Ueno. And of course, a mandatory picture taking with this cool Hachiko statue. Mm -hmm. details on how to get here at Tokyo University but me myself I'm not really sure how we got here but I'll put the pin down below so you can check it for yourself later yeah here you go it says here Dr. Hidesaburo Ueno and Hachiko right I guess if you're a dog lover most likely you already know the story of this too yeah it really looks good it's way way better since we are already inside Tokyo University, we decided to roam around and see what we have here. Not gonna lie, kind of miss going to school because of the vibes of this one. Also, I'm not sure if there is an anime that featured Tokyo University already. Probably not aware of it. If you guys know that, please comment it down below. And how cute this is. Dogs. Of course, right? This building kind of gives me like a Notre Dame University vibe. I don't know, probably because of the infrastructure or the building itself. Ah, it's good. I don't know if it's just me guys, but I'm digging the vibe of this Tokyo University. I'm sorry. around Tokyo University is an underrated thing to do but I highly suggest that you go try it especially if you have extra time uh, during your trip. I hope you had fun watching it and definitely I'll see you again next week for another Tokyo episode. Mad Corner, I'm out! You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor Don't work too hard, my break a backbone